Oh, 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 oh. oh my gosh, I'm so excited though. Yesterday we had some fantastic games. And today, we probably have fantastic games as well. I, I know the first game, I don't want to spoil it. Oh wait, maybe I do. Because it is time for us to move on over and reveal the Iron GMs. Remember, they had three choices. If they chose the same person, they got that GM through love. And if they chose different people, then they got the third GM through hate. Because they're so sad. They're so sad that they weren't chosen. Well, our first GM, absolutely lover. Iron GM Mega Man, that is our dear Xandra. Of course, our second one, Iron GM 4K, 144 frames per second. You know, the highest resolution GM you will ever get, Smite. And our third GM, I can afford burritos. That's right, I ate a burrito last night, it's me. So, who chose who? Well, our first person, Julo Ninja, decided to go for me because, hey, I love burritos. I think he loves burritos. Burritos are the best. Our second player opted to go with Smite, which means that Xandra is our chosen GM. Xandra, come on in. I want to talk to you. Maybe suck some blood. Bah! I'm a vampire now. Bah! 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 Angry, unloved Xandra? Yeah, I know. Xandra, you should be so angry and vindictive. Are, are you vindictive, Xandra? Oh, you better believe it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Hi. Hey, how are you doing? I'm doing all right. Been, been up and down, but today, today's a good day so far. How are you? Oh, I'm doing pretty dang great. Uh, I've been... Let's see, yesterday was a great coup, so today uh, I made some improvements to my Excel stuff so that I can get stuff uh, changed on the layout faster. So uh, yeah, again, Excel has the power to either create world peace or to help you take over the world. Like seriously, if I ever take over the world, I'm gonna use Excel. Excel is so good, it's just so good. <laughs> it's X, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Oh, what are we doing here? You're giving a game. Okay, I am. So, uh, no, no one picked me. So oh, I guess, no. I guess that means, I guess that means they don't want one of my like teenage Xandra games. So, but that's okay. So instead, we're gonna play one uh, of my last remaining really bad Mega Man games. Well, it's, <laughs> it's I wouldn't say really bad. It has its charm. But it, and in, and the amount of charm it has just overwhelms everything else. This is Mega Man rocks. What he does? Oh my gosh! Look yeah. at those abs. You know, when a robot has abs, right? you know you're in trouble. <laughs> Question: Do the abs help? <laughs> I, I uh, imagine they do. Yes, yes. Mega Man, Mega Man does a heck of a lot of crunches in this one. There's a reason. There is a canonical reason why Mega Man has such powerful abs in this one. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> yeah, and yes, this 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 is a this is a really neat game. So this is one of the this is a PC game. It is a complete like uh like wholly original thing made by uh, you can see it in the top left made by Eric Ruth. Eric hey. Ruth made a Mega Man game, and now we're gonna get to see it. Oh Hi, my gosh. Uh, uh, we should probably should probably tell the folks to uh, leave the intro running because it's kind of cool. Oh yeah, go ahead and tell them that. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and work on getting everybody captured, uh, making everything look yeah. beautiful because Mega Man, you know, has never looked quite this beautiful to me before. Yeah, you're just, you're just doing Dr. Wily's work for him, just out there capturing everybody. And Except instead of Robot Masters, it's Stream. My name Mega Man. I'm going to go capture Dr. <laughs> Wily. Wait, no, it's Dr. Light who talks like that. Mega Man can talk yeah, like that, too. Dr. I imagine Wily. he has a good voice modulator or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, so in Mega Man was voiced in... Well, okay, Mega Man X was voiced in the uh, Mega Man X series later on. And I mostly know it because I used to play a whole lot of Mega Man X4 
And in that one, you could play a zero or X, and zero and getting low on health would go like, it's not over yet. And, oh my gosh, don't uh, say that. X that... When, when, yeah. <laughs> it brings back memories X, for some reason. <laughs> See, but I, I really love how like X, conversely, when low on health would go like, time to get serious. Like in a very adorable, tiny little bean voice. And it was just really good. Aww. It was like really adorable. I do want people to be aware there is a little bit of flashing in the introduction. Oh, uh, and so, okay. you know, be aware that there may be some later on as well. I saw some. It flashed really bright in my eyes, okay? Oh, no. Uh, well, it's fine. I'm, I don't mind. I'm the type of person who would like directly look into flashlights, you know? <laughs> no, don't do that either. For extended periods of time, just so that no! I could see the dark spot after. <laughs> Look, okay, no. I wasn't the smartest child. <laughs> like, we, we've already established that. It's a pretty well-known fact. <laughs> Rosentia as a child was kind of dumb. I mean, you got, we gotta learn, right? We learn through experimentation and like, when when we are thrust into situations where we find ourselves looking at flashlights, then it's probably a failure of like other or other folks, other adults in our lives who should have really like just fostered us better into like a life of learning and discovery that doesn't involve looking into flashlights. Yeah, that's right. Stick it to the man. Blame them. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault. I'm dumb. <laughs> not my else's fault. Uh, like. I don't know. As long as I didn't like bleed everywhere, my parents were pretty fine with <laughs> me existing. <laughs> if I did bleed I mean, everywhere, they're like, like, why is there this blood? What the crap's mm -hmm. going on? This we're is learning. music. We're just, okay. We're, learning. we're just always learning. Oh, yeah. No, the. Uh, oh, hold on. Oh, do you have a multi Twitch or something? I, uh, I want to hear the music. Oh, oh, I'm oh. I. Probably do. Just a sec. Just a sec. Oh, cool. just a Heck sec. yeah! There we go. Do, 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 do. Oh. Ah. Uh... Okay. Uh... Oh, oh! Just a moment. I'm getting. Okay, just a moment. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. Okay. I. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's not what I meant to send. Oh, uh, I, there you go. I'm, I sent I'm you sorry, the multi twitch. I just, I just have. Okay, there's someone at the door. Can I? I'll come back in like two minutes. I'll, okay. I'll do okay. it real quick. Sorry about that. Well, that's okay. I can go ahead and distract chat. Uh, chat, I want you to guess all of the names of the robots in this. Okay, the robot masters. Because this is Mega Man Rocks. Uh, Steel Man, Butt Man, uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, Burrito Man, I want Burrito Man, okay, Burrito Man is my robot master. <laughs> wait, wait a second, uh, how about no? Okay, Eric Ruth befriended the famous guy, uh, Dr. Wiley quitted, and the robot masters with which he planned to assuage Eric. As a superior or something. Now the time has come for one legendary legend to be a Mega Man Walks. Yeah, that's why. We're gonna go do a Mega Man Walks. And go see. Oh my gosh. You all have pretty good names. Like, Ombudsman was a different one that we had. Uh, Woman Man, Walk Man. Uh, Spiked Wallroom Man, Staple Man, Dr. Wawi Man, maybe, Nice Man, Feels Bad Man, oh my gosh, ow, ooh. If this came out in 2009, this may be interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and say, yes, there are excuses, because this is on the PC, this is not a ROM hack. <laughs> Which might actually be scarier. Oh, Eric. Eric Ruth. What was I gonna check on my phone? Oh, I was gonna turn the light on with my phone. Duh. You know, because that's not only a thing you do these days. Seriously, the phone is like 
the sonic screwdriver uh, of reality. Let me tell ya. A blood moon man. Ooh. The blood moon rises once again, Link. Ah! Stupid blood moon. Get blood all over the place. Dripping. Hit man. Ooh, borrowed by man. Uh. Oh my gosh. F12 man. No, no, no. Door man. <laughs> I'm really excited though. Tuesday man. Uh Brain Man. Delete this game, man. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Like, look, we have three layers. Three layers. Crash the desktop, man. <laughs> oh my gosh, so many perfect names here. Uh right now we're just sort of kicking back a little bit waiting for Xandra to come back because apparently doorman showed up uh, and was like hey open your door man Xandra's like punch Xandra became punch Xandra Zan no there's not a good name for that She's awesome, though, okay? And she has given us some really interesting Mega Man. I didn't know there was this much of a diversity. Okay, right now I'm Kiko Man. <laughs> oh my gosh! Like, I know nothing about Eric, so I have no idea what's gonna happen. Okay, the players are going to the password. Hello, okay. welcome back, Xandra. Thank you so much for your patience. I appreciate it. Hey, I oh, had them guess sorry. the various robot masters, okay? And I don't Ooh. know if any of them were right. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One, one person, one person got one of those. Oh, clever. Nice. I love it. Congratulations to the person. Oh yes, and we will uh, we will be um, using passwords because we will be uh, skipping one of the bosses. Okay, everybody, I want you to go ahead and spam the emotes that you think would make for the best robot masters. <laughs> I'm curious what's gonna get spammed. Because I'm doing the countdown right now! Uh, Okay, oh, Ooh. Alf Man. Ooh, that would be pretty dang good. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the countdown since one person has uh, one button entered in for the password and the other one doesn't. Whatever. Ooh, yeah. Wall Man, <laughs> Athena Man. No. I. No. <laughs> Not allowed. Alright, we just to say Athena Man quietly then. <laughs> so Doorman is our first one. Congrats yeah, to uh, all the people who said Doorman. Oh, Yellow. I'm hearing a lot of typing. Yep. Furious typing. That's okay. Uh, Julo is gonna need to restart and enter the password. Okay, well, as Xandra furiously types, okay. we see Loratia going through Doorman stage. Ooh. Yeah, welcome to Doorman They're stage. They're ice machines. Yeah, deadly ice machines. All right, all right, well... Sweet. Sweet, all right. There we go. No policeman. So, yes, uh... No, policeman has been abolished. Uh, we start. That does mean the, the players start with one extra weapon. It's okay, oh. and it might come in handy at some point. We'll see. So just so everybody knows, the yeah, policeman is dead. Here are the other robot masters in the order that we're going to be seeing them: Doorman, Hitman, Repo Man, Snow Man. Fire man, repair man. Oh my gosh, that makes yeah. me think of all that. Uh, and anchor man. Yes. <sighs> yep. That's it. That's all of them. Okay, those are those are <laughs> oh, something. Cadis has posted the uh, the boss order game. Perfect. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Cadis. You rock. Repair man, 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 man. <laughs> you remember that? 
from years uh, ago on... Did you ever watch all that, the, the TV show on Nick? Oh, uh, we didn't have uh, Nick in uh, Canada, or at least not in Quebec, where, where I grew up. So what? Like half of our yeah. shows were made in Canada on Nick, like yeah, for Nickelodeon. Uh, yeah, the thing is, like it, uh, like Montreal and and west and and west of Montreal had like uh, YTV, like youth television, and other stuff like that. Uh, we didn't. We only in Quebec. We very rarely got English language shows. So it was mostly about like, well, sometimes we were lucky enough to get some of these, sometimes we weren't, but the, it was not on the actual Nickelodeon channel. So I'm a little bit, did Julo Ninja die? Where's Julo? No, uh, J okay, so Julo Ninja just realized that uh, when, you, when you go through a screen transition and you just hold the button down, you don't move when the screen stops scrolling. You need to start moving again. Oh, uh, did he softlock? He's asking in Discord. Uh, he's restarting the game instead. Okay, that's fine. We get a sleepy Link. Uh, you know, I don't mind seeing a very tired Link from time to time. I wish I knew who did that yeah. art because it's kind of nice. Mm. Oh, uh, also folks were asking, uh, one of the reasons is uh, I do like starting with a password, and uh, in this instance, for in, a, in addition to a lot of other reasons, uh, the uh, policeman boss fight is entirely RNG. <laughs> the policeman so, boss fight? Oh no! No, yeah. yeah, it is entirely RNG. You have very little power in it, so that's just a bad experience for everybody. So, nope, I'm just gonna skip that. It is. It is a better world is possible. One where we start in this sweet looking apartment complex that has a, like exposed circuits <laughs> scary uh light bulbs yeah. dropping fire maybe they're like old school lanterns they're just leaky lanterns you know dripping oil yeah please help me my chandeliers are setting me on fire it happens i've played video games <laughs> Okay, why is Doorman meowing at us? Uh, no, that's just the music. Oh, okay. Uh, Eric Ruth himself types that he had to, like, write, uh, compose, like, 30 or so uh, pieces of music for this one, so he did his best. I think it's okay. And honestly, you know, the music hasn't destroyed my ears so far, so I, I'm a fan. Yeah, oh, and props to, uh, props to Zoricio, who has figured out that you can charge in this one. That's an important Do skill. you just hold it down? Yep, uh, it's like in regular Mega Man. Okay. Yep, hold the attack button down and also the charge shot is the one way to stop Doorman from like doing that screen hitting attack of him. Oh my gosh, she does a full screen attack? That is yep. a little evil. He, yeah. The only way to stop it is to use a charge shot. So from what I'm seeing, uh, you sent me the manual. Uh, you can also duck? Yeah, Mega Man can duck in this one. Weird. But okay. It's, oh my gosh, it, it, looks, it looks incredible when someone, when someone does it. Uh, we should see a bunch of ducking in one of the, like, in a couple of stages from now. It's pretty cursed. It is, but in a good way. It's good cursed. Oh yeah, oh Doorman, when Doorman decides to spam that attack, it's just bad news for everybody. Oh, Lauretia there we go. managed Lauretia. to stop it, but I don't know if Lauretia knows that, that is what's, what caused it. We'll have to see in this next fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, that's, that's, yeah. Also, shout out to that sweet pause menu. This like, Eric, Eric Ruth, like, really is like, has some, some good chops at like art. Yeah, it's, you know, uh, so far, the game looks pretty good. I really like the style here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and guess this is not an authorized Mega Man game. <laughs> <laughs> it is not. No, absolutely not. Uh, but, you know, there's a lot of these and it's just, you know, there's the Mega Man like uh, format is open enough that it's like it's a really good uh, game to make when you want to make a game, like a fan game. So, oh, like, yeah. it's, it's just it's good for that. I, I love that there's just so many of these. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, 
So, what's the biggest problem with it? You have it in Cusa Grande. Uh, okay, so, one, so probably the big, there's, we will see, I, I started them off on one of the nicest stages, but uh, we will get to see some of the mean stuff later. The main thing is, uh, this game Ooh, is one like, sliver oh, left. No! No! oh, poor Loratia. Thankfully, Loratia did grab a, a one up at some point, so that's gonna help. Okay. But, um, yeah, okay. It, I just cannot, there are not enough, like, words to describe how bad this game feels to play. Like, especially if you're familiar with Mega Man, because, like, look how high Mega Man jumps. The jump is strangely, like, it's not, it's, it's a weird mix of floaty and just extremely high yeah. in a way that just throws off a lot of, like, the, uh, the mechanics. You're, and the, uh, you, like, nice. the point at which you jump, oh, yeah. Oh, Hello, Ninja good. moves into the lead, killing Dorma. Yeah. Uh, Loratia, hopefully we'll do it here because, oh no, that's Loratia's last life. Oh. Ooh. Congratulations, oh. you're now hypnotized with Dorstopper. But yeah, the, so you jump very high. The jump is weird. Uh, there's a point at which when you're walking and you jump, like it... Like, your jump, how, where your jump starts relative to your walking sprite is different from other Mega Man games. Uh, every time you're sliding, you cannot slide and then keep walking. If you, if you slide and you come back after a slide, you will be stopped. You need to manually start walking again. Really? The duck makes a lot of things really weird. Yeah, it's like, it's a whole bunch of very tiny little things that make it like, it's a weird, uncanny, and just awkward, like, game to play when you're used to Mega Man. You get used to it, but it's just, there's a lot of little detail that makes you realize, oh, actually, Mega Man games are, like, a lot went into the mechanics. Oh, yeah. Of, like, just moving around. And this one is, also, there's, this stage <gasps> is just full of these. Oh, no. Yeah. That looks like a slightly difficult jump. I don't like it. I do like the giant Met balloons, okay? Those are cute. Right? I'm a huge really cute. fan. Oh, there we go. There we go. I was waiting for that. I didn't see it. What happened? Oh, uh, a lot of the flying enemies in the stage are set to appear at a specific spot to dunk you into a pit oh, as you're jumping. Oh, no. I love yep. it. Yep. But also, okay, uh, when you're like, yeah, when you're going up a ladder, or when you're like, when you, yeah, like I said before, when when the game switches screens, all of your momentum is reset and you need to start moving again. That's a real big problem when you have like drop stages or when like stage drops you from one screen to the next and then you have to remember, no, even if you're holding like left or right, it doesn't matter anymore. You have to let go and then start moving again. It's, it's, it's like, a bunch of very, very small details, but they really add up. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm taking a look at uh, Eric's list of games that he made because he's he made quite a few different yeah. fan games, uh, including the Angry Video Game Nerd uh, video game. I'm not sure if that's the one that sold on Steam. Uh, I also don't know. It's I, I tried to, like, look up uh, like, the creator's Twitter account, but it's been disabled, or maybe it's just, like, uh, the, the name changed at some point, but the website is still up. But, yeah, it's just... I don't... I'd have precious little information on this other than, hey, it was a Mega Man game, and I just yeah. wanted to play it, well, so I Well, Chad did. is confirming that yes, it is, which is kind of... Oh, it is! Wow! Yeah, well, it's a Mega Man-type game. Uh, I had, yeah. I've never actually played it. I, I need to give it a shot sometime since I own it. Uh, but that's kind of exciting. Uh, yeah, he also made Return of the Space Cowboy, Super Eurojet, that sounds thrilling. Um, mm. Pixel Force games like Pixel Force Halo, Team Fortress Arcade. Interesting, interesting. It's interesting that he took some of these 3D ideas and put them into 2D games. That's fun. Yeah, absolutely. And like, certainly like has some like good artist chops too oh yeah and just like there's so much visual information also the pause screen is really good it's just really good there's a lot of like there's a lot of good in this game and and there's the rest 
but that's like with any game that like you know you you make by yourself it's just that's that's how it is you got to make games to learn how to make better games oh for sure <laughs> some, some of the uh, some of the bosses like your man has appeared in other like Mega Man compilation projects later as like the the one of the the beloved bosses from this uh from this game oh that's awesome also uh gosh jill and ninja really getting like some good rng on those drops and getting a bunch of like extra lives that's really gonna help in this stage yeah i i think that would considering how many times these ducks try to shove you into the pit. Now, mind you, it only really matters if you get to a checkpoint. Yes. Uh, which, I believe... I wonder how many there are. <gasps> Loratia is through! Oh, yeah! Doorman is Heck dead yeah. man! Yeah. Do not adjust your television set. You got Doorstopper. All is well. Oh, Proceed. No. Remember oh. to write down your password. Also, from now on, cigarettes will taste like worms. <laughs> It looked like it Great. was hypnotizing I... us. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's worms. You put it in your mouth, it's a worm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, Doorman's weapon, the doorstopper, is like a f one of those full screen hit attacks. So Ooh. it just hits everything on screen and it goes through shields. So oh, it's nice. actually, it's, yeah, it's real good. It's uh, also extremely useful in this stage because it stops those, like, enemies that try to, like, dunk you into pits. But it is also, secretly, this boss's weakness. So, you know, if you use it to go through the stage, that's good, but you're gonna have to, like... No, you know, the box. Oh, I'm stressed. Yeah, welcome to Yoku Box section! Okay, I hope this you like isn't. Block. They don't move as fast as most Mega Man games, but the fact that mm. like they don't line up in a specific block format is kind well, of yeah, annoying me. Like one the of them's once one pixel above <laughs> the other, from what I can see there. Ugh. Yeah, they don't they don't follow the grid, which is a it's 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 a little little pet peeve. Oh no! Also, yeah, sh shout out to Mega Man just briefly snagged on the corner of that block and then and the physics went nope into can the you, pit you go can you jump it, it looks a little bit like mario one when you wedge yourself right into a block area uh and you can jump frame perfect if you manage to clip in there uh if you can I... do that in this game then cool sweet speed tech or sweet recovery tech I, I would not be surprised if it was possible. A lot of these, like, I've never worked in Game Maker. I believe this was making Game Maker. I usually work in, like, stuff like, uh, uh, click team stuff, like, uh, click and play and so on. But, no! What's a yeah, it's totally block? a thing. It's a jerk block that oh, appears yeah, it's, and it's... disappears. Yeah, the blocks are going... It's, uh, Yoku block. I believe Yoku was a... Uh, was coined by fans. Um, it's not an official name for these blocks, but it's 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 and that stuck. Let me see. Uh, oh, they're essentially skill blocks, is what it would be. Yoku uh, appears oh, to translate okay. to uh, skillful or enough. It's enough of the block. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's enough. Enough of these blocks. Yeah, let's see. Oh, good use of the shield there. Which, I mean, they do require skill to get across. That's a that's a good enough name. Mm. <laughs> every time, every single time, those, like, birds just dunk you into pits. I love it! Oh! oh. Julo and Laratia both just opting to get game overs yeah, real quick. Sometimes, sometimes you just yeah. It is. I, I I specifically told them like you can you can go back into like previous stages or whatever, but sometimes it's just faster to game over and and stage select or restart. Yep. I I made it a point to mention that specifically because uh there is a like one of the later stages ah! has an E tank near the. <laughs> Wow, the double! 
Oh, the double dunking. I love this game. Okay, I love I love ducks. First off, uh, they're very blue for ducks, but you know I'm not gonna fault them for that. I'm sorry, it just never stops being funny. Double, another. <laughs> Yeah, the, well, I love how synced up we are at this point. It's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, okay, that was just very sy synchronized, synchronized jumping off of this specific ledge. Uh, but yeah, there's there's a way to get past these bothersome ducks. And yeah, if you, if you like, chill near the edge of, like, the, like in most Mega Man games, this is actually pretty true to form, uh, they will spawn based on your X position. Yeah, so, I, I think as long as you lure them out, you can deal with them. Yep, yep, yep. Quack, quack, quack. And that, by that, by X position, I mean how far you are in the stage, not how much lore you've shared. <laughs> Oh my gosh, please. Like, there is way too much lore for Mega Man X. Let me just tell you, I don't care about any of that. I want to fight some robots. <laughs> Sometimes you just want to fight some robots. Oh, I think... I think Loratia might have made it to one of the checkpoints. Like, by, like I believe this is like, you get a mid-stage checkpoint oh! and you get the boss checkpoint. And, oh, okay. Nope, I was wrong. <laughs> What's after this stage? I don't know. Wait, I uh, yes I do, <laughs> because I have the robot master guide. After this stage comes Repo Man. Okay, okay. I'm I hope I hope one of them at least makes it to Repo Man because that stage is hell on earth. We're only 18 minutes in. I think we're gonna see a repo man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, let me, uh, let's see, uh, Glitch Witch was nice enough to, uh, vet this game for me, and, uh, let's see, <laughs> do you want, I, I can read, I can read Kat's impressions of this game if you would like. Uh, sure, as we watch. I would love that. Perfect, so, let's see, so, Kat, Kat has been vetting a lot of, uh, Mega Man games for me, it's like, okay, so, I've played a bunch of Xandra hacks at this point, and this has to contain the meanest stage I've ever encountered in a Mega Man game. It's extremely mean, the jump is absolutely terrible, and is a perfect Kusagrana game. Throughout my entire hour, the jump never felt good at any point. <laughs> but Mega Man can duck. I haven't seen... I, I think I've seen very, very brief ducking sprites, but that's it. We'll, we'll see a lot in the next stage. Oh, it's, it's the this stage has a lots of duck. Has a lot of ducks. The next stage has a lot of ducking. Quack quack quack. <laughs> oh my gosh, ducks! Ducks are so perfect. <laughs> well, near perfect. <laughs> They're so almost perfect. You know. Yes. Yeah, you can't. I mean, like, gosh, can we ever? Can anything really truly reach perfection? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. If you want to say that this jump is perfectly butts, it kind of is. <laughs> I, that's what I love about, like, you know, the great thing about us as people, like, if, if we find, like, a limit to anything we can make, like, say, oh, this is, like, the worst jump, I think I can make a worse one. I think I can, I can push the envelope. Okay, okay, we, so, Larisha has started, they, they both have started the Yoku Block section. So let's see how oh. far they can... Nope. Well, yeah, Laratia's down the in the drink. And then we turn our heads slightly to the left. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a drink? It could be a drink down there. We don't I know. Mean, this could be over a river. It's... The river is definitely below the screen, though. Okay, if it's if the, oh, the black strip sure. at the bottom is the river, they need to clean up a little bit. Might be an oil mm. river. Ooh. River of oil. That's where Hitman lives. <laughs> oil Man was another game. Was another game though. That was in Mega Man Powered Up. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, oil, oil, man. oil Man and I believe Oil Man and Time Man were cut robot masters from the first Mega Man. That's what I hear. Oh, wait, seriously? Yeah. 
Hey! hey. Larissa did it. Agility uh, Ninja did it. Finally, through the end of that interminable Yoko oh Box section. Oh my gosh. And oh, luckily yeah, the boss lot. is right after, so that is helpful. Agility Ninja mm. going up against uh, Hitman. Yeah, he looks like a Hitman. Oh my gosh, the squat! Oh, yeah. so good. <laughs> So, uh, the great thing about Hitman is that, uh, Hitman is invincible to normal shots. You have to hit him with charge shots, otherwise it doesn't work. Oh, nice. Well, I mean, not yeah. nice for the players, but nice for us. Yeah! I love that the duck is like, wow, your head just kind of fell off. <laughs> yeah, pretty <laughs> much. between your knees, you're like... <laughs> <laughs> well, and... Yep. Laurisha has found it, and Laurisha yeah, has I'll... also found the duck. Quack, 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 quack. Oh no, it's the blackout! Oh, Sorry. and it goes to the Robot Master, sad day. Yeah, oh, uh, okay, yeah. However, Laurisha, Jula Ninja are gonna try the weapon. That is indeed the weakness to Hitman, so that oh, should help. Oh, good, good, good. See, I'm nice. I gave them, like, the weakness order. However, since they start with one boss already defeated, the weaknesses are going to be a little bit weird. And the race and... moves back into the lead. Yeah! Very oh, nice. this is a nice. The heated race. Okay. If you ever... Congratulations. Now, whenever you comb your hair, your hair will feel like worms. <laughs> oh, no! Yeah, oh, no! This I gotta so hypnotize hurts. people whenever I get the chance. It's worms. <laughs> I'm just gonna make everything be like worms. <laughs> oh no, again! Jill Why? I... Oh, the Jill, Jill to keep like waiting a long time to shoot. Maybe it's just a matter of like uh, not figuring out the the timing for that, or maybe there's dropping inputs. Hmm. Uh, I mean, it's possible. Okay, we're we're on to Repo Man for Laratia, which apparently is the worst Mega Man yeah. stage ever. Yes, welcome, welcome, well, welcome to like, uh, welcome to heck. This is it. This is the worst. This is probably one of the worst Mega Man stages I've ever played. Seems so okay so far. Yeah, sure. Oh, you also have like the reset bats. Oh, uh, I if love you cannot the fatty defeat... bats. Yeah, if you cannot defeat them, they reset back to their health and position. Aww. Yeah. Oh, I think, okay, oh, no. I think Julian is oh. got it. Yeah, Jewel right. Ninja is through. Uh, so you don't have invincibility frames against spikes, huh? You super don't. No, these are Mega Man 1 spikes. Ugh. You don't want to touch them at any point. Hit shot! Yeah. Also, shout out, yeah, if you like, if you like that ducking sprite, uh, you can play, like, uh, Make a Good Mega Man Level 2, which is a wonderful compilation, which includes also Doorman. And one of the costumes you can get for Mega Man is Me IRL, which is just the ducking sprite, but you get to move around in it. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. I can also imagine, uh, the animation that you put onto walking with it is just rotating yeah. slightly left and right. It, <laughs> it's real, it's real good. The animation is really... Like, this is so canon in fan games. It's not like canon in the canon games, but in the fan oh, games. Yeah, no. It's amazing. Like, I never knew about so much that went into these fan games and how connected the communities are. It's it's perfect. Yeah, I love it. It's really good. It's really, like, there's just like, it's, it's, there's so much Mega Man and so many like really wonderful people. Julo working Ninja, on Mega Man. tempting fate. No! Laratia. Yeah, remember your password. So now you kind of start seeing what this whole, like, ah! stage is about. Ah! Oh no! Ah! Yeah, no, that, that little platform to the left, you don't need it. Mega Man jumps so unreasonably high in this one, you don't need it. That was perfect. Oh my gosh, okay. See it perf- Yeah, exactly! Other people agree, that was perfection! Perfection. Mm. I feel like perfection can last for a brief moment, you know? 
nothing by itself is perfect, but things in a moment can be perfect. Oh, yeah, perfect moments. I love that. There yes, we go. like, yeah. ah, there it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. A brief moment. A perf- a, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know what you just said. A brief. No. Someone said a brief. this briefest of moments. I think someone counted, like... What's it's a brief? So much. I don't know. I've my my it's my my girlfriend or loves to combine words. Ah. So, so it's like, so I wonder if this is one of those like cases, like oh, uh, a special brief moment, a brief moment. Oh, I like it. I might have said brief. <laughs> Apparently, I'm the one who spree. said it. Well, okay. <laughs> okay, well, that's fair. Oh, there, yeah, duck under those bikes. And duck you can and slide and duck. Slide. Duck and Slide. Have you ever played Super Duck and Slide? I think it's like, you know, it's a rare gem. I'm sorry, I love this game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sad, Lurisha. <laughs> Repo Man! Look, okay, I finished paying off the couch. Don't come, <laughs> don't come visit me, okay? Ah. I like no, I like my couch. Yeah, no, like, the Repo Man is some sort of- No, don't just walk into this fight! The hitboxes are so huge! They're really unreasonable. There's no reason these yeah these hitboxes. Well, your your hitbox when you when you platform the spikes hitbox. The fact that they are Mega Man One spikes that disregard your iframes. There's there's a lot of stuff. Also, the fact like oh gosh, I really like the uh, La Mulana remake and Spelunky and a lot of games like that have the like a specific kind of spike uh, of spike. There we go. I'm doing it now. Of uh, a spike mechanic where. If you fall onto the spikes, they, they they destroy you, but you can walk alongside them just fine because you're not falling onto them. So like you can they're like you can walk through them no problem, you just can't jump down onto them. And I like that kind of stuff. I like yeah. I like things that use your motion, your mobility against you. Oh, I love that too. Yeah, it's it's like Good game, like great game design, often is born from limitations. So just having these yes. stuff, like ah, I can't use all of the tricks in my arsenal. I, I like these moments. Oh yeah, I well, that that's the same with any kind of art. You know, when you have limitations, uh, you can either suffer from the limitations or you can really embrace them and create something yeah. fascinating from them. So yeah, did you say La Mulana? Were you? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. One, it's one of the games uh, back in the spikes. Here, here's the deal. La Mulana, a lot of people complain about the knockback uh, and or the, oh, the committed no. jumps. I love the committing, the committed jumps because okay. you can really use them just right if you're if, if you're good. But you got to get good. So I have no problem with the committed jumping in La Mulana. The one thing that makes me rage in that game is the fact that if you step off of a platform, you fall straight down and there's nothing you can do to recover from that. Oh, that, and yeah. That is like the worst thing because sometimes like you you want to, you are willingly, the game doesn't know if you are willingly stepping off a platform or if you just fell accidentally and punishes you every time. And that makes me so angry. But it's supposed to make you angry and I love it. Like I don't like that. I don't like being be, be, when when games make me angry. It's like it's I I pre, like some I will recognize when oh I just yeah that's me doing an oops but that's fine. But when the game is just being unreasonably mean, because like I my feeling is that the game does this specifically so it can catch you into like like trap floors See, you, and you fall down. Yeah, but you gotta get used to doing the tiny jump. Uh, that's off. that's bad though. Don't do that. That's so weird. Having to do something so weird and awkward to get around a limitation where like my character could absolutely like do like do a a, a, a like willing drop from that kind of stuff it just it's okay. like when when a character refuses to step over a small like knee high obstacle and you have to like go through a whole level to get around them like la mulana changed when i learned that you can jump straight up and then on the descent pretty much control your character uh, as much as you want, and uh, that that was a total game changer. But it takes mm. time to figure that out. Uh, yeah. And then the game, I'm, I'm... and then occasionally the game's like, hey, you just got hurt. Uh, you don't get <laughs> to do that now. Enjoy. Mm. 
I, I really like La Mulana 2 also. La Mulana 2 introduces the... If you fall into spikes after getting hit, you just bounce and keep going. So you can get comboed pretty hilariously. <gasps> oh no! Like, you bounce and take more damage? Of course! Yeah, yeah, yeah! And there's like, there's some areas of the game set up so that if you get hit by a specific enemy, you will like, go on... The game will wombo combo you with uh, you that, go that on the really Magical awesome. Mystery La Milana tour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, separate I Exactly, Kadis is like, separate iframes for enemies and spikes. And that's like, that's Galaxy Brain. I love that kind of innovation. Oh, yeah. See, I've, I'm cool with having limitations, as long as you keep the limitations consistent. No, Loratia, Freeze Doorman does not stop spikes. Good try. That didn't work. Uh -huh. I love this. Oh, I mean, it was a good way of thinking. You'd think, hey, it looks like Freeze Man. Not Freeze Man. Yeah, uh, Ghosts and Goblins. That those jumps don't bother me anymore as well. Like I'm, I'm used to them. Yep, I, I can appreciate the ghost and uh, the ghost and goblins jump too. But yeah, but going back to what you said about uh, consistency, absolutely. I that is like one of the most important things to me. anything has to be consistent. When I write books, everything has to be consistent, and it's just like you know you got to make a cohesive like image of how things work. Yeah. That's probably like some some like some uh, neurodivergence on my part. Yeah, I spend a lot of energy figuring out how things work, so I can like you know like follow like follow like the the quote unquote rules. Oh, this so is not thing... nice. Oh yeah, no, this room sucks. This is a bad room. This is okay. So, uh, there the checkpoint was at the start of this floor. Okay. So every time they die from this point on, they have to redo this part, and you can't do it quickly. You have to do Ooh. this every single time. It's rough. It's How really rough. How do you make rough. the last jump here? Oh, this is okay. a nightmare. So you jump up here at this point, and then now you jump. So it's a you have to wait. Okay. On on the platform. It's really tricky. Okay. Yep. And then go. Okay, yeah, it's they a very do small window. disappear about a second before the others pop up. Maybe yep. half a second, something like that. It's a little. Yeah, the the entire level is predicated on this. Also, uh, Loretta is down to his last life. Still in the lead. Yep. Yeah. I... Yep. This is, this is now the lead. This part right here. Ah, yeah, someone points out, there's no rush in this game. Absolutely not. Uh, I believe uh, the comments were like, uh, Eric Ruth said, like, nope, I, uh, I, like, I could not make dog. rush work. Oh. No, no, just could not make it work, so, sorry. I don't like dogs, but I have a dog. I have dogs by the table. Play my game. Which is, uh, it's better than in another game, another fan game, I got, or maybe not, not just one, but, like, a couple where, like, Rush just gets hurt in the intro to explain why uh, you can't have Rush in that game. Oh no. Which is like a little bit like, you didn't have to hurt Rush. Oh, it's okay. You can just say Rush is tired. It's fine. Yeah, you don't have to kill Rush in order for him to not be in the game. Be like, mm. oh no, Rush! Like was in a nuclear explosion and, no! then they, and then they incinerated his robot bones after that i don't know it's no, complicated that's, that's, that's unreasonably harsh please no <laughs> sorry that's so, uh, that's why he's not in this big <laughs> game no. so you would think this would be another checkpoint but it's not because this is old mega man rule you get one mid stage checkpoint and one checkpoint in the boss tunnel and that's it the boss corridor uh-huh. Right, let's go. So how far do you think we are from the boss? Uh, how far are we from the boss? Uh, okay, just looking at this. I, like, the stage has already been fairly long. I hope that we're just about there. Like, uh, at the end of I, the screen. Who, who, 
You would hope, you would hope, yes. I it might be at the end of the screen, but that is um underestimating just how long this this specific screen is. It's I at think the, the end of the yeah. screen, oh. but Oh no. So long. Okay, so that's okay, so here's another gauntlet. Oh I like those. Just pick your poison. Up or down, pick your poison, keep going, just go, just go. Pick one. Okay, yeah. Yeah, the it's uh my preferred path is up because then you can just duck under the spikes. Yeah, I I think that's a good idea. You should yeah. I okay, I appreciate Loratia just not risking it. And not Same. taking any chance. Well, I mean, this is Loratia's last life, right? Mm, yep. Alright! One more gameplay section, and oh, it's this no, one. If no. Marisha makes it without losing a life, I will be incredibly impressed. No. This is it. Oh! <laughs> okay, here we go. We oh, have. Oh, that is so we sad. Have new... Yep. We. So death on the second spike of the of the death tube is progress right now. I love it. I love it so much. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, Jillo Ninja did not make it to Death Tube yet. I mean, he's still got a ways to go here. It's this stage is so long, and it makes you wait so many times. Uh, oh, someone is asking. Yes, the boss order has been fixed so that it's easier to track. I gave them... Uh, I started them with one of the bosses already defeated and gave them the order that most reflects a uh, weapon weakness order. Uh, I basically just, I, I wanted them, I wanted to start them on a, on a nicer stage and I wanted to see this one. <laughs> That's pretty much what went into this. I, I love it. Huge fan of that decision. It's, I want to like, you know, you got to showcase the jankier aspects of the game. And I think like, I think this is like a good mix of, you know, this is like competent for the most part, but again, I cannot overstate just how awkward this game controls. These these like players are troopers, because it's like it's not that bad. Just you know, from a, 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 a gameplay standpoint in general. But if you're used to Mega Man, Mega Man has just such like there's just so much Mega Man out there already, and and this is like so weird compared to all of it in every aspect that it's really. It, it's it's un uncanny. It's off-putting. Yeah. <laughs> yes, there's there's a reason I'm Iron GM Mega Man. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna keep giving Mega Man games if I can. Un and unless unless people like willingly choose, me, I might have some teenage Xandra gems that uh, I have unearthed. Yeah, possibly. There, possibly. I'm not gonna commit to any teenage Xander nightmares. <laughs> we already had one. <laughs> I prom I promise I promise any other games I've made have a nicer aspect ratio. Oh well good. I'm glad to hear that. That's scary. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Oh no! Oh no! Oh yeah, so oh yeah, uh, I I appreciate that uh, Jula Ninja is uh, trying out the different weapons. The Hitman weapon is basically you shoot. Yep, nope, nope. Uh, shield does not protect you from spikes. The, the oh, Hitman no. weapon shoots a little target, and if it hits something, then a bunch of off-screen uh, shots come in, and uh, that one pierces shields. So it's kind of a targeted attack from off screen. It's like an artillery strike, hello. Okay. Oh, that's... Oh, I'm sorry. Loratia was just not patient. No. Oh, yeah, you gotta... You. That's the thing. You, like, this is Cuso Grande. You have to hurry. But this stage, you have to be patient. You have to be so patient. Otherwise, you lose it all. Honestly, yeah, I can see this being a major difficulty point for a lot of people. Uh, mm -hmm. 
simply put, you know, you've got the stress of the match, and every time you die, you feel like you're losing time. You feel like you're falling mm -hmm. behind. And so, you know, how do you stay calm and not rush yourself so that you can actually make progress? Yeah, I and like, it's like the thing you always say, like, if you're having problems, if you're having trouble with the stage, chances are your opponent also is. Yes. That's one of the, 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 the Kuso maxims. I, I pre- Oh, oh, oh! Oof. Yeah, it's really difficult to remember that, though. Mm, you know? That's true. You get tunnel vision when you're, like, in a match. Oh, yeah. Oh, is the is the actual game? Oh, Mega Man Maker is is the game that Twitch has been. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. It's close. Yeah, it's close enough. <laughs> oh my gosh, I I do love the music though. Okay, I'm I'm. It's really, it's real good. It's catchy. Oh yeah. Like, that's one of the things I love about this era of, like, fan games, is that this is, like, this is one person who did everything. So you kind of had to do, be like a, like, Jack or a Jane of all trades, or, like, a, or a Jay of all trades. Like, basically, you had to do the programming or the script-assisted uh, game dev via things like Game Maker, but it's yeah. still like logic. It's still like only your logic. You have to make the art, you have to make the music, you have to like source the sounds, and you have to like, you know, design the thing and make it fun. It's like, there's so many moving parts when you're making like a game by yourself, especially if you're trying to adhere to a formula like Mega Man. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh... I, I kind of want to make a Mega Man game after like putting, like showing so many of these you're like, I kind of want to... <laughs> I mean, we have seen some amazing ones. I think it would be fun. You know, I, I feel like I would probably be more willing to do a ROM hack with maybe a little custom art because I like doing pixel art. Uh, oh, yeah. But that's probably it. Mind you, getting into a style that looks like it could actually be Mega Man might be a little bit harder than I'm willing to be doing, you know, but yeah, like all Maybe. of the style in this, it looks like it could be a Mega Man. Maybe it's a little bit poop colored for my taste, but uh, and Doorman had sort of the same gross color palette. Like, I'm mm. not a fan of the colors they chose. Uh, other than that, it could be a Mega Man game. Visually. Yeah, absolutely. It's also there's um there's some really good tool. I think it's the Mega Mix engine now for okay. Mega Man, but there's like for Windows that you can like there's there's incredibly good tools you can use to make a Windows Mega Man game now. Oh, like really? a lot of recent like games have been made using that. Like the like the one I said. Uh, I think Make a Good Mega Man Level Two was not made in the Mega Mix engine, but it was like made, but practically like helped build it. But is there, you can, you can make a, you, the person listening, could be making a Mega Man game right now. Yeah, you, you, you viewers at home or whatever, wherever you are, in a hotel, why are you watching this if you're sitting around in a hotel? Maybe you should, like, go see the sights, you know, fight people off oh, with the cane. Maybe now, now is not the best time for that. Though. No, no, no! Fight them off with a cane, okay? Joust! Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone suggested in the chat, Kuso Maker, make a terrible 50 minutes. I mean, yeah, that's like, there's enough tools. You just have to, like, you know, scope high and then just hope for the best. Yeah, that's that's a recurring theme for a lot of Kuso Grande games, right? Like they try, they shot for the moon. Yeah, the moon shot back though. <laughs> you don't want that to happen, okay? Terrifying. Yeah, but happens when you try to hex the moon. Don't, don't hex, hex the moon. moon. Don't hex the moon. Moon's gonna hex your butt. <laughs> yeah, this a lot of like Julo Ninja's really. Oh, sorry. 
really taking it slow in this section. You totally can not just duck and slide through all these, but I totally understand why he would, like, shy away from going too fast in this one. Oh, yeah. There's, like, a, there's a saying in French, uh, shy, chaudy, crain, ou froid. Um, I'm not sure if there's, like, a, an equivalent in English. It's, like, a, a cat that has been, like, scalded by hot water will now even fear cold water. What a dumb cat. No, I mean, like, that's the thing. You're like, you, oh, like, you have learned that water hurts you. You're gonna be, you're gonna steer clear of water now. So, like, if you learn that rushing in the stage will destroy you, well, you're never gonna rush. Like, that's a total, like, that is a valid reaction. Yeah, but look, the oh. cat's, the cat, cold water's not gonna hurt you, you dumb cat, okay? No, Learn, it's gotta... the temperature that hurts you, not the water. You gotta, you gotta put yourself, like, you know, in the cat's shoes. And if you need help with that, I've written a bunch of books about that. All the cats I've had didn't have <laughs> shoes. Oh. They, did they have cute little socks, though? I mean, put one of my socks on one of the cat's heads, you know, that's about it. <laughs> No, I mean, like, when, when they, like, you have cats with, like, little feet that are, like, uh, white. Yeah, yeah, we actually, yeah, 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 we had a cat named Boots. Oh, that oh. poor cat. Oh, it was like a tuxedo cat. And let me just say that when you have kids who really like to slam sliding doors, having a cat is not a no. good thing. No. Yeah, kidding. like, yeah, but we were kids. We didn't know. And then when the cat got hurt, we're like, we felt so, so bad. But then again, that cat multiple times would climb into uh, the van's engine uh, and no. fall oh, out yeah. mid-drive. Still survive somehow. It got Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you got to like, that's, oh, I forget where it was, but there was somewhere that said like, oh, yeah, remember, we are getting into the cold, like, time of the year. Check to see if there's like little kittens like oh, yeah. on your wheel in your wheel wells or something chilling there because it's warm. Okay, okay, death tube time. Julo, are you gonna be able to do it? Oh my gosh, Julo! Yes. I think got past Laracia. Yeah, Julo Ninja wrestles back the lead. Oh my god! In the tunnel of death, made it to the third spike of the death tube. Oh my gosh. Julo is just a few blocks in the lead. This is ridiculous. This is going to be good. So, so uh, in order to oh, get sorry, past sorry. that, you're going to have to do a wiggle. You know, wiggle yeah. left, wiggle right. Uh, classic Mega Man. I'm stuck in a hallway because I don't want to come out of it. But, you know, got to keep moving. Got to keep moving because I'm sliding. Yep, yep. It's really tricky. And again, you have the, that magic second where all the spikes are gone to go, like, you know, slide to the right and reset yourself between the two spikes that are going to appear, and then just keep wiggling, and eventually you make it, and then... Thankfully, the boss is... So the boss is, like, can be mean, but yeah. they have the weakness, and the weakness is very effective in this battle. Like, I beat the boss literally... Like, I found a cheese strat and just basically beat the boss with practically no damage at all. So, yeah. that's that's also why I gave this stage at this point, because I figured if you make it to the boss, then it's not exactly f a free fight, but you're, you're, you're doing pretty well. Good to know, good to know. Okay. In case, and good to know in case you, yourself, ever, like, decide to play this game. Do you think you would ever willingly play this game? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Nice. Like, I'm not a huge fan of how long it takes to get through these spike sections, and the Yoku blocks are too slow for my mm. taste. But other than that, like, it seems fairly enjoyable. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like... What I love about these games is just, like, the sheer newness you will find because like, this is not made by Capcom. This is made by one, by a person who could have just decided to do anything. Like when you have someone says, I'm just gonna like take this Mega Man shaped ball and run with it. Like, I wanna see where they're going. Ah, oh, Jello Ninja, you're rushing. Can't rush. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I know that Julo is feeling the pressure because we've got under 10 minutes left. We're getting to the end of this match. Oh. 
and uh, people make mistakes when they start going fast, especially when there are some very difficult areas like this. The spikes just have giant hitboxes. Yep. Also, oh, someone points out in chat that, uh, oh, Cadus, Cadus pointed out, Larisha has understood that you can cancel a slide by crouching. Like, if you let go and then you press down, I did not know that. That would have helped a oh lot. Oh my gosh, that will oh, make wow. the sliding section doable. Yeah, I'm, I'm really, okay, now it's down. Can Larisha make it back to the death tube in eight and a half minutes? Just go slow. Yep. Yeah, developing speed tech is really helpful in figuring out some of the jank mechanics that, you know, don't mm -hmm. exist in a vanilla uh, Mega Man game. Might put yep. Laratia in the lead, might be the reason Laratia takes the victory, but you gotta get back to the tube. And if so, I, I think that that is a very, uh, very uh, worthy way to uh, take the victory in this match, you know, mm -hmm. finding new speed tech. Mm, absolutely. Oh gosh, I wonder if anyone speedrun. <laughs> I'm not looking. I'm too afraid. <laughs> Wait, I kind of want to look. Uh, yeah, like me. No results. Good. Doesn't seem like it. Uh, if you want a free world record, anybody watching this, you now have some <laughs> speed tech. Uh, okay. Oh, and now, now, Laratia getting getting like uh some extra life yeah, yeah getting some extra life thanks rng you're the best oh my gosh wow what more lives yeah i had an extra one but like got another one that's such good luck yeah you absolutely do want to destroy the enemies no, Julo, no. you gotta slide gotta slide As the Goo Goo Dolls said, why don't you slide? Yeah, Goo Goo Dolls, why don't you? <laughs> huh? We're not sliding anywhere. Oh, what? Okay. Shadow. <laughs> I had never seen the uh, Hammer Joe turn around, and I didn't realize they turn around on a very weird pixel. <laughs> Yes, uh, Hammer Joe, not Hammer Bros. Hammer Bros are in Mario, Hammer Joes. Yes, brothers for Mario, Joes for Mega Man. You know what? I finally realized why it makes sense that they're Hammer Joes instead of, like, ball and chain Joes. Because the hammer throw it uses what they throw. Yeah! Ugh, I'm exactly. so angry. I'm 34 years old. I'm 34 years old, and I finally made that connection. Well, nobody cares about yeah. the hammer throw in the Olympics anymore, okay? Okay, I, th I, thought, I thought for a moment, like, wait, you're very angry. No, Laurisha! No! You only have five and a half minutes left. No! Gotta go back to the start of this. All right, so, who is in the lead again? Oh. Uh, Julo Ninja is still in the lead. Uh, right, okay, so now it's going to spike three. Laratia made it to spike two oh. in the tunnel. Down to, can Laratia make it back to the death tube in five and a half minutes? Oh my gosh. See, th this is Laratia's to win. Yeah. But you gotta, you gotta go slow enough that you oh don't die. Oh my gosh. Julo. Dancing with the devil. Yeah. The devil, his name is Eric. He's been he's been abducted by Dr. Wily. Ah, dang it. I hate yeah, Dr. Like... Wily. I put a bunch of spikes <laughs> in Repo Man's house. <laughs> I okay, so yeah, Cadus brings up a point, like it is criminal, there's no checkpoint. That's one of my okay, I appreciate that so many people are trying to make authentic Mega Man. However, the checkpointing system is a thing you can totally iterate on. There's no reason to commit to one checkpoint in the middle of the stage. We can do better. Like, well, we can make better things. That's fine. No one's gonna, like, be sad if you put, like, three checkpoints in your stage instead of one. Yeah. We don't have to keep not doing that. Not only that, but, like, if you're going to change the difficulty, change the checkpoints, okay? You can do both. Yeah. 
Uh, you, you can keep it the same way as if you are going for as difficult as the original games, you know? Then yeah. that's exploration, no! no! Oh my gosh, uh, there's still time, there's off. still time. It's still time, to... but it's gonna be close. Gosh, this is heated. Yeah, everybody is making mistakes right now because they just want to get through and make a little bit of progress and you can't rush. Take, you know, slow and steady. Tortoise and hare. Yeah. T Tortoise doesn't jump into spikes. Tortoise can't even jump. No, no they, they do very, very tiny little hops. They're very cute. Really? I've yeah, never seen uh, a well, tortoise I mean, hop. On, on land, they kind of move sometimes. Some of them just like little tiny hops. Like they, they, they clear the ground for maybe like a split second just because they're all like using all of their little paws to like go forward. It's a, it's, a, it's a very it's the tiniest hop, but do it's, it's have, still one. Do turtles have paws? Uh, what do you call They're them? They're more like, like flippers. A, I, uh, I guess. Like they they don't hmm they don't feel like flippers to me. Okay. But, Most oh turtles have okay. web feet. Uh, web however, feet. Oh. the pig nose turtle has true flippers. True flippers. Oh, true, are, are true they, flippers. They're actually true flippers. True. Are they like good against mermaids or something? Or like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> like you know, ah oh, yes, like you, 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 like regular flippers are fine, but true flippers get a pl something mm, out of there. It's the true flipper. <laughs> uh, no, it it just means that they actually are flippers rather than just look like flippers. Oh, okay, they're not camouflage. Okay, yeah, it's like be careful. Okay. Whew. Oh my gosh, two minutes. Can we make it to the murder tube? Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be so close. Okay, so they're considered feet. There you go. Although you ah, can feet. call them okay. turtle paws if you want to be cool. Mm. That's that's my assessment. Oh my gosh, a minute and a half left. Oh, yeah. You're so. Oh, oh, oh. You gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go. Except not. Don't, don't, don't die. Don't get hurt. Don't die. Don't super. Di super don't die. Okay. Oh welcome to Super Don't Die, the sequel to Don't Die, and which is the sequel to Don't Starve. Oh yeah, or like one of those like weird uh, homage outshoots, offshoots. <laughs> yeah, don't risk it. Don't risk it. I guess don't die. Sixty four was okay. This is a oh, yeah. Take it slow. Take it slow. You just need to get back there. It doesn't. Oh yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. We're Here to we death. Go. One minute. Less than Here's a minute left, and we might see a change here. Uh. Oh my gosh, Laresha, Laresha, no! I thought you learned, I thought you learned. <gasps> Laresha is through! Yes! Laresha takes the victory today! Laresha takes the victory! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Can you take one more? One more spike, here we go! Make it to the boss! Yeah! Holy cow, <laughs> the last minute. Like I said, it was Loratia's to win, and Loratia has won oh, this match. My Let's God. just enjoy the meowing boss for a second. Yeah, time to give Mega Man the clamps. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that seems like a fun boss. All right, that's it. Yay, the match is done. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, that is time, and what an exciting match this was. As it turns out, Julo Ninja was in the lead for at least the last 20 minutes or so, and in the final minute, Loratia took that away. Uh, we've rarely had matches that close. We've had a few in the past, but this was thrilling. Ooh. Oh my oh. gosh. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and bring Loratia in. Hello there, Loratia! Hi! Oh my gosh, good to see you, and congratulations on your victory today. Uh, like, seriously, literally the last minute you took the lead. I, I have to assume it was just entering the boss door. 
Uh, no, getting past the third spike in the sliding hallway. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That, and, like, we kept seeing you die as you were going, uh... As, as you were getting closer and closer to that, you know, and I felt like you might have been panicking. What, what were you feeling at that time? What was going through your head? That I hated the spike hitbox. <laughs> it's so big! It's so incredibly big! And it, it really was only super big in like one or two rooms, but those rooms got me a lot. Oh yeah. Uh, I definitely can believe that. I had so much fun with this, though. Like, uh, watching it, I definitely enjoyed everything that I saw. Like, the color palette could have been different, but, uh, they got pretty close to making things look like a Mega Man game. You know, for a PC game, PC fan game, it was pretty good. Maybe yeah, not the, the controls. The controls were not near as bad as I definitely made them look. Um, there were some some standard, you know, game maker issues of okay, well you can't duck unless you completely stop. That caught me a couple times. But wow. the the fact that it caught me a couple times was because well, most of the rest of the time the controls were perfectly fine. It uh -huh. Got me thinking like it was a Mega Man. Yeah. So I'd screw up in ways that, and or I'd try to slide at something where Mega Man would let me slide. <laughs> and it didn't work. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, I... I'm just trying to think. Uh, people were pointing out that at one point you figured out how to stop your slide. Is, is that actually possible in the small corridors, though? Uh, to stop mid-slide by, like, letting go of down and pushing duck again? Or is it just, like, a, a fluke of the imagination? Or just something that we're having fever dreams out here? <laughs> I don't. Uh, if, if if people noticed me doing that, I didn't notice me doing that. So. Oh my gosh! Okay. <laughs> well, uh, because you might have accidentally discovered speed tech that would make that level yeah. a lot less painful. Oh, I I also wanted to ask, uh, what do you think the weakness for Repo Man was? Uh, I was gonna try both the the hit shot and the police shield. I figured it was probably one of those. Yep, it was the shield um, because uh, Repo Man like like sends shoots out little clamps, and if you have a shield going, Repo Man will possess the shield and it will hurt him. Aw, oh, that's kind of cool. Yep, yep but it, it's that's neat. Yeah, it's it is kind of a rude boss to put at the end of like the longest like death march I've seen in a Mega Man. Like, kudos to you for making it through. Good job. Yeah, uh, we were kind of surprised. Like, I'm really glad that you were able to. So good, good, good. Yeah, you're going to go ahead and carry on over to the winner's bracket. Jillo Ninja heading on down to the loser's bracket, but is still in the tournament, you know? I'm excited to see your next match, Loratia. Same. Ah, well, anything else before we take off? No, uh, thank you, Ro, and thank you, Xandra. Of yes. course. Thank you for playing. Thank you, Zandra. Take care, both of you. Have a great afternoon. You too. You too. Bye. 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 Ah, uh, everybody. Cuso Grande, the Bad Video Game Tournament, is brought to you in part by Butts. Okay, we're going to run a quick 60-second ad break, and we will be right back as I do a little bit of setup. See you in one minute. <laughs> 